Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here, and welcome back to some more Kirby Squeak Squad. In the last episode, we finished the fifth in the EX stage of Prison Plains. Uh, Plains, no. Prison Plains, excuse me. In this episode, we are going to take on the boss of Prison Plains, and Kirby is ready to fight. Look at that war cry. Alright, let's go on in. But before we do that, there's something that I've been meaning to show up, but I completely forgot in the last episode. Is that you see, um, this question mark bubble that we have down here? If we click, if we um, pop that, it will give us, well, it will either give us a random health recovery item or a random copy ability. In this case, we got two maximum tomatoes, so I don't have to worry about dying for a while. All right, this episode, we're gonna be tackling. The Great King himself. Get back my cake! Shinku Hadouken! So yes, King DDD is the first boss of Prison Plains in- Oh god, almost got me right there. Alright. You see, he, as a first boss, he's really not that tough. Not really tough that, at all. And oh god, I almost got hit right there. And you see that machine in the background? That's actually the monster generating machine from Kirby right back at ya. One of the handful of references um, up directly from the anime in the game, so yes. The games do reference the anime here and there. Not very often, but they're there. Alright, can we finish him? Actually no, let's not finish him with a Shinku Hadouken. Let's finish him with a Shinku Shoryuken! How did that finish him off? Really? That was lame. All right, fine. I'll just. Can I please stop getting hurt? Oh, you're. Get... Uh oh. Uh, wait. <gasps> wait a minute. I think I just forgot something. Oh yeah, you can't do the Hadoken if you're too low on health. Okay. So that's. I actually completely forgot about that. Okay. Anyway. Okay, okay, come on, let's finish him. Shinku Shoryuken! KO! And we got a treasure chest. Let's see what's inside. It must be good. A boss battle badge. Collect all of them for a brand new mode. What's this? Someone stole stolen King Dedede's treasure chest. Uh, are you sure that wasn't just us right now? Of course he doesn't know a thing about the strawberry shortcake. So what's going on? Who's really behind the disappearing shortcake? Suddenly a whirlwind appears, bringing a band of big-eared strangers. Who are these guys? A band of thieves known as the Squeaks. With treasure chests in tow, they begin to march jauntily away. King Dedede acts as quick as a wink. He grabs Kirby and yeets him at the squeaks. He had not hurls him, he yeets him. What a shot! He throws a perfect strike. The squeaks teeter and lose their balance. They all tumble to a deep chasm, taking the treasure chest with them. Surely the shortcake is part of the lost loot. Must be a damn high quality of shortcake. It looks like Kirby's quest isn't over yet. And with that, we are thrown directly into the first level of World 2, or I guess the first stage of Level 2, as this game likes to call them. Not worlds, not not worlds, levels. And not levels, but stages. Alright. Right here we have another new ability, but I'm gonna stick with Fighter for a little bit. We've only gotten to use it well, um, a little bit. So, it's, uh, uh, okay, fine. Okay. Well, at least it gives me an excuse to use. Uh, oh, so even a uh, Fighter can do that, just like a Ninja can. All right, it's cool. Let's go ahead and use one of my maximum tomatoes and head on down. Okay. So yeah, you can't use the Hadouken unless um, you have like enough health, if not full health. Alright, Shinku Hadouken! Didn't even break the second set, okay fine. Alright. And that right there is another new enemy, and... Even though we've only gotten to use Fighter for a little bit, we'll get more chances. 
And besides, this enemy gives us a brand new ability, completely new and unique to Squeak Squad. That ability is... Metal. This basically completely replaces Stone Kirby. As you can tell, you move a lot slower, you barely get any hype on... Hype, not hype. A height on your jumps, and you also fly and very slow. But you are practically invincible to most enemy attacks. Not all of them, but most of them. So yeah, this is a very hit or a miss ability. It has a, it has a couple ups, but mostly downsides. But it is required for a couple of treasure chests later on. So let's just slowly slide down this hill and we just kill everything just by planting our... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but, you know, just decided not to. Okay. Let's get in this cannon. So these these green cannons, you have to shoot on your, on your own. Can I please stop shooting myself in the corner? Okay, thank you. And, oh boy, pick your poison. Uh, I... I think it's the right. Yep, it's the right. So my memory from a failed record well not a failed recording, but a scrap recording served me right. Alright. In here, let's just go ahead and dump metal because uh, Ooh. Here's another new ability that's completely unique to Squeak Squad is Bubble. So yeah, you just you shoot bubbles, but this isn't just a regular copy ability. Because, you can turn enemies into bubbles and then absorb them into your stomach for later use. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh... God knows when I'm gonna be able to get another mini Kirby, so I'm gonna just up uh, No! I wanted to keep that one! Alright, fine. Got this... Sword... Actually, hold on. Let's get rid of Beam. I mean, if you turn up an enemy that doesn't give you a copy ability into a bubble, it'll give you a star. And if you click that, you can just up chuck a star like you normally would if you didn't have an ability. It, I just can't hold down these um, bubbles into my stomach. Who would have thought that Kirby has really bad acid reflux? So yeah, do not um, hit that bomb block because you want to... Get this, get this treasure chest first, because if you do, then you have to start the level all over again. Alright. Let's move on, and there's the big treasure chest, and... You know what, let's go ahead and show off this ability. We've had this ability in our stomach for quite a while, so... Let's go ahead and show it. This is Cutter Kirby. It's a very classic ability. It's been around since some the it's been around since uh, Kirby's Adventure, I believe. It's a it's a it's practically a mainstay in the series. It's fun. It's very simple but fun. You can you can now aim where you throw um, um your projectiles as well. All right. Anyway. And, oh, I can't. Okay, fine. Just up chuck the mini Kirby because God knows when I'm going to be able to get more of them. And. The squeaks have now spawned. So yeah, that right there, now that we know that, you know, now that we know who these guys are, these are the squeaks. Every time you get a big treasure chest, there um, one of them is going to spawn. And if you get hit, you'll drop that treasure chest. And they're gonna try to take it. And if they take it back to the hideout, you'll have a a small amount of time to go to go into their hideout before they block it. And if they block it, you'll basically have to. You'll have to start the level from scratch again if you lose it to them. So, yeah. So, make sure you don't do that. So, this guy right here, this is Spinny. He's basically the he's the speedster of the squeaks. He's very fast and nimble and agile. And, you see that claw that he drops? You can actually, uh, you can actually suck that up and get the animal ability from him. But, we didn't do that because he's dead. And, these little guys, these, I believe, they're called... Um... The squeakers or something like that. I don't know. They're very basic enemies. They don't give you any copy abilities. They're just there. Not even the ones with bombs give you um, a copy ability. Alright, destroy you. There's a couple more down here. Destroy you. And there's a 
a blue one that you that throws um, giant bombs. Bombs? Okay, which food am I gonna get? I got the hamburger again. I would have liked to have the flan, but oh well. Hamburger's fine. And pop! We got a new ability a new ability for the animal ability, or a uh, more Kirby sounds for the sound player and a star seal. Collect them all for a surprise. All right, we have defeated the first major boss and have started level two of Nature Notch. In the next episode, we're gonna continue our merry way into level two. I will see you guys then.